George, Western Uranium and Vanadium recently provided an extraordinary corporate update. Lots of good news for this dual commodity company. I don't know, where should we start? Right, yeah, well, we just had a press release that talked about our mining operation going very well. We're producing high, high-grade uranium and vanadium ore. Obviously, stockpiling at the mine at a certain time, but that's, that's where we are. We're in production. You're in production. You're one of the few companies, maybe one of three, definitely less than a handful here in the United States that is producing uranium. Can you give us a quick update on what's happening with your vanadium side of your company? Vanadium, we've had a lot of people coming to us basically saying they need a long-term supply of vanadium. You can buy vanadium in the spot market, but nobody will commit long-term. What happens if you're going to build a battery plant for redox batteries, you've got to have a commitment for the base product, which is vanadium. So we're seeing a, a, a real demand or potential demand from the, the battery, potential battery companies to build these redox batteries. One thing you did recently in our investor talk conversation, you were explaining what some of the issues were the last time uranium actually increased exponentially. Uh, and some of the mistakes former management made. And one of those was not thinking long-term and making long-term contracts. Now, if you can just, for those of you out there who may be new to Western Uranium and Vanadium, explain how long the potential of the Sunday mine is. And of course, you have an additional project as well. Well, the Sunday mine got a life at least 20 years at the expected production rates. And that's what we've announced in our press releases. At least a 20-year life which justifies you know, the, the processing plant. That's not including our additional resources, which we're in the process right now of committing. They'll be developed and permitted down the road. But the, we'd say at least a 20 year life of the, the Sunday mine based on the ore that we know is there. In fact, we just acquired a drill that'll drill out 4,000 feet. We're gonna drill underground to establish those reserves that have not been drilled by the surface. You know, you take a look at the Sunday mine, the topography of it is very, you know, mountainous, very difficult to drill from the surface. So we're going to drill it from underground. But that's where we know the uranium is there. When we develop the GMG ore body, which is part of the Sunday mine, we're constantly in high grade ore. And it's a problem because we don't, we've really finished the development of that mine because we're now at mining stage but we're not intending to mine huge amounts. So we're moving into other areas of the mine for development. And of course, your, your management style is more of an understated CEO. I'm sure we can agree on that. You only put out news when you really have news and you're one of the few CEOs I know that lives actually close to the mine. Can you tell us a little bit about your lifestyle management style for your shareholders? I'm absolutely certain they will appreciate it. Well, you know, I've been in this in this cycle, you know, especially as a public company since 2006, and I've seen companies overpromise and underdeliver. That's the absolute thing we are not going to do. You know, we're going to overdeliver and underpromise, and that's what's good for shareholders. Uh, you know, what happens? You can overpromise, the share price goes up, and then when you don't deliver, the price goes down. We've seen that over and over with companies, and we just don't do that. You know, we'd be happy to bring people, show them our minds, show them any of this and have interviews and tell you what the real story is. But we're not going to overpromise uh, because we want to deliver what we say we're going to deliver. And we do. We've got a great uh, crew of people that can do exactly what we need to do. This little company, you know, three years ago, we had two employees. We've got 20 employees. Today. That's not a lot of employees, but that's the growth of this company. And in two years from now, we'll probably have double that number. And in three years, we'll probably have three or four times that number. But again, I'm not going to go out and tell the market I'm going to hire 200 people tomorrow. We're not ready for that, but we will. Well, we personally love that philosophy. So, George, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, and for those of you interested in more information, please go to the following website. Thank you, George. Thanks, Tracy.